hi guys this is life of Venice, and today i'm going to be setting up my distinguishing devices help me Okay, so this is what I'm going to be following. It's just the instruction on how to do it. So let's see if I can follow instructions. Okay, so step one says how to cut out both tape blades along the dotted lines. So these are the tape blades that I need to cut out. Okay, so we have two. Let me just put this over here. So step number two is place the tablet on top of the actual epaulet and align the outer edges so these are the actual epaulets right so it says i should put these on top ne? so yeah we did that this is how it is like this right um it says Step number three, place the pins of the metal insignia directly above the marked crosses. So, I don't even know what that one is. Okay. Okay, right. So, the first step was to cut the both templates along the dotted lines, right? So this is how they look when they are cut out. The step number two says place the template on top of the actual epaulet and align the outer edges. So I just need to place this on top of the actual epaulet, just like this. Right. Right. I did that. So step three says place the pins of the metal insignia directly above the marked crosses. So now I just need to place these on top of the actual epaulet, right? So I'm going to start with this. Okay. So, Ganji, we do this. Right, and then those ones, the yellow ones, we put them here. Okay, let me just put them outside down. Then we take this one, we put them here, these are the two, we take the last, we put them right here. So, I don't know if you can see, but this is how they look. I don't know if you can see, but this is how it looks like. Okay, so, so step number four says confirm the position. Of the holes by guiding your fingers to the holes on the underside of the epaulet. Right. I'm just gonna do it like this because at this point I don't understand, <clears throat> but I get to the idea of what is being said. So they are saying you do this. Right. Directly follow the pins. Okay. This one must face up. But I think I could take a while. Okay. Like this. Right. Then you press by force. 
Oh my God. Okay. So this is how it looks like, right? Let's do this other way on this side. So Gunji looks like this. It's like this. This is how they're gonna look like. But I'm not sure if I'm too happy with the spacings in between because I feel like, yeah, it's going to be too empty. And I think it's going to be ugly if I put here, I skip, I put another one, I skip, I put another one. I feel like it's going to be too much spacing again. So, but anyway, after doing that, right, step number five says press carefully through the paper um template and applet without using excessive force ne i already did that step six says fasten the clutches at the back which is using this and you insert here at the back and then step number seven says slowly tear away the paper so let's do that Is how it looks like so i think now i can try and pull out the paper right here so this paper let me see slightly pull the paper out this one will slowly come out come out come out come out Is slightly pull out the paper, right? That is what I'm trying to do. So it looks like you must slightly, as you're doing it, you must also apply pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
so this is how it looks but yeah i'm still concerned about this spacing but yeah this is how it looks let's try the last okay so this is the final look this is how it looks